It broke. I knew it was gonna break. Nope. I knew it. That is so disappointing that these I get. I have so many videos now where these just flat out fail because like uh, uh, like a year and a half ago these were it was rare for these to break. I am so mad about that. I think I think these companies are trying to make these cheaper, and this is the price for that. Like seriously, that that's bad. That's bad. I know that these aren't designed for that, but they made these for a purpose. They mass produced these for this reason. And, and yeah, so it's like this, like, I'm sorry, I'm ranting. This used to be extremely rare. This happens in almost every video now that I use these adapters, almost every video. These are four to $5 each. So this video, $10 down the drain. All right, so what I did here, this is a this is a modded impact driver. All right, so I put the anvil on there. Like they sh they should start making impact drivers with anvils for the people that use that don't want to use an impact wrench, but they want the speed of an impact driver, and they could also make a professional attachment like this that comes with the tool, just so you have the option. Make make this a friction ring, and so yeah, so it's it's just. It, this drives me crazy. It drives me crazy. All right, so what we're going to do today is we are going to test out to see if you need to really upgrade your Ryobi HP Brushless P238 impact driver for the new one. Let's see what the difference is. Let's see if Ryobi actually did a major upgrade since uh, this one and with the new HP version. This one just came out, like, I think uh, a few months ago. All right, so what I will say is that the P238 is actually a lot larger than the brand new HP uh, quarter inch X impact driver. As you can see, there is a huge difference in size, huge difference in thickness and length, and weight wise, I'll put the weight in with the specs. But yeah, but there are some features on the new HP version that the P238 has still that they took out for this version. And so yeah, let's look over the specs of these really quick and see how these actually do against each other. So first, let's do the P238. Like I said, this is model number P238. It's a quarter inch hex collet. It has a tri-LED beam on the front. We will be using two 6 amp hour batteries and each battery is full, 6 amp hour HP batteries. This does have the connections on the back of the base for the special HP connected power. So we will be seeing if that uh, affects the results. So this has three modes. This is analog, this is not digital. You actually, actually have a switch. So on, uh, on speed three, this goes to zero to 3,200 uh, RPMs and zero, zero to 4,000 impacts per minute. <laughs> Variable trigger along with a speed selector. This does have a magnetic tray on the base along with a bit holder, which a lot of people say in the comments that they miss both of these features, which I sort of agree, because if you ha have this base, you might as well have a magnetic tray on there. So it's, it's like minus well, if you're, if you have the base, you might as well use the space for something that is useful. All right. But that is the P238, the design it's bulky, you know, it's sort of big. This was revolutionary when it first came out, but it was a big, uh, it is a big size impact driver. Quarter inch text collet, the, uh, Collet is quick insert, so all I have to do is put it in, then it's locked into place, adjust it to, for it to pop out. And that is the P238. And just like in the comments, uh, one thing I will say, because a, a couple of people said this already, that every brand is getting crazy with their model numbers. This is inside of P2, you know, like if this is P238, this is model, this is model number PBLID02. It's like that, that model number is crazy. They are, the companies now are getting crazy with their model numbers instead of a simple number. This one does not have the HP connections in the back. So I do not know if the HP connections will improve the tool's performance. All right, so this is a variable trigger with a speed selector. There is one, two, three in auto, and it, it is digital, which is nice. It has one LED beam on the base, which it was nice to have the tri LED beam on the, on the front. This only has the specs for the highest speed. This goes to zero to 2,900 RPM and zero to 4,000 apex per minute. And that is actually slower than the P238 because the P238 is 3,200 RPM. This is 2,900. So this is 300 
RPM less than the P238. The collet is quick insert. And like I said, they do not have the bit holder or the tray. And one thing that is a bummer, these tools do not come with a belt clip. As you can see, this one has a belt clip. And so that is another downer. Uh, if you have an extra belt clip or you have to buy it separately. I, but I do love the green and black. As you can see, there is a big difference in, the, in how it looks. The green and black look so much better than the green and gray. And like I said, there is a big difference in size. And so there is a significant difference in size. So that is level. And so, yeah. But, and like I said, we'll, we'll be using a 6 amp hour HP battery. This battery is full as well. That is speed one, two, and three. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what these can do against each other. All right, so in this video, we are going to skip the BS. We are just going to do two 4 inch lags, two 6 inch lags, and two 10 inch lags. One uh, lag each. And so uh, this is about the stress on the motor. And I want to see which one can stand the most stress the best. And hopefully that these uh, bits can do it because of the time of the day, I actually have to go to work soon. And so I'm hoping that these do not break. So let's, let's do the P238 first. We are, I have plenty of space on this log. We're going to do these two right here. So let's do the P238 first. Uh, check the temperature at the end of the video. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. that it time that is the p238 let's do the new hp do it right here let's see how the how well this does all right so ready go wow it broke i knew it was gonna break i don't think i have any more either Alrighty, so i'm hoping that we just could use one then hopefully the milwaukee lasts this is my last one because I have to go to work soon, like I said. This is Milwaukee Impact Driver. This is model number 2853-20. All right, this is why companies need to make impact drivers with half-inch anvils. Because you could always get this. I made a video about this already. I'll put it, I'll put it up right here. And now you're able to use the half-inch anvil like, like that. So like, this is the reason why. All right, so let's continue. Keep your fingers crossed that this doesn't break. All right, ready? Go. Time. I do not know what the test results until I edit the video. And you're stuck in there. I got to reverse you a little bit. There we go. All right, so let's take it out. Let's see how well this does. All right, so ready, go. Time. It didn't get stuck on the P238. Let's see if this gets stuck in here because this might be a recurring thing for this, uh, for this type of anvil. All right, so let's take it out, ready. Go. Wow. I can definitely tell you that that was faster. And as you can see, these are the same size. Uh, for the, we'll do these right here. All right, so right here is good. Ready? Up oh, a little bit more. There we go. Ready? Go. Get the hell out.
that is time. I am praying that this doesn't break because it's my last one. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. That's time, time. Now I could tell, I could definitely tell you right from what I just felt that this is far more powerful than the P238. The P238 is still a pretty good impact driver, but this one's smaller, more compact, and it is, it is more powerful. And like I said, it does not have the HP connections on the back. In the future, we are gonna do a video with this to see if a six amp hour HP battery, uh, DeWalt six amp hour battery with 21700 cells or a Milwaukee high output battery will perform better on here than the battery that's designed for the tool. Because so I get those comments a lot. I'll give you an example. Like the DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage, like the DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage drill they, everyone tells me that it's better to use a FlexVolt Advantage battery than any other battery because it will perform better. I beg to differ. I think a 21700 cell battery will destroy a battery that's designed for a specific tool. But we will find out in the future with that, so please subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's take it out. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not bad. See, it's a people do need to give Ryobi more credit than what they actually get because that's still pretty pretty powerful to take that out. It's the, the these are not easy tasks. These are not easy tasks to do, and Ryobi is doing it flawlessly. Are there other companies that do it better? Yes, but Ryobi still does it. All right, so let's take out the the new HP. All right, so ready, go. Major difference, major difference. All right, so for this test, I'm hoping that it survives it. We're, we're gonna do one 10 inch lag each. Nope, I knew it, I knew it. So unfortunately, we're gonna end it with that. I think those two lags sh uh, showed it enough. I need to get a ton of these now because, all right, so when it comes to the difference between these two, I feel that the, uh, the, the new HP version dominated the, the older P238. And that's just how I feel. I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video. 74 degrees, the Ryobi HP got. 74 degrees. The, Ryo, the P238, yeah, it did a little bit more. But 97 degrees, the Ryobi P238 got. So when it comes to these two tools, I, if, you, if you're able to upgrade, I would. I feel that the, the, the new HP version is a lot more smaller, compact, and it's totally worth it because as you can see, the size difference and there's a weight difference as well. And so yeah, so if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.